Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Jared claims Obama never had celebrities cursing at WH, made to regret it. Valerie Jared is back, and she is being extra snarky. As the Democrats panic that President Donald Trump is making inroads with the African American vote, they decided to trash Kanye West's visit to the Oval Office. They know if Trump gets 20% of the black vote, no Democrat can win. So, they called on Jarrett, who made the wild claim that Obama never had celebrities cursing inside the White House, and boy, does she regret it now. Barack Obama's right-hand woman, Valerie Jarrett, has apparently been called upon to lash out at President Trump and Kanye West. Make no mistake, last night, seemingly every leftist news show was blasting Kanye as mentally ill doing their best to make sure African-American voters didn't take him seriously. And, Jared is being holier than thou by feigning fake outrage over West saying mother Efker inside the Oval Office. Twitchy reports, President Trump hosting Kanye West in the Oval Office on Thursday has sparked enough head explosions on the left so as to be mistaken for a 4th of July fireworks show. Among those who were offended was former Obama adviser Valerie Jarrett, who thanked CNN's Don Lemon for defending the delicate selective sensibilities of liberals. Poor Valerie Jarrett. She's just not thinking clearly. The Obama White House was like a Hollywood movie set, and even Barack thought cursing was funny. Obama joked about White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel in 2009, saying, I do have to say, though, that this is a tough holiday for Rahm Emanuel because he's not used to saying the word day after mother. That's true. Or, what about the infamous Joe Biden getting caught on a hot mic saying, this is a big effing deal. That was caught on live TV from the White House, right after Barack had signed the horrendous Obamacare bill into law. But, there's more. The Daily Wire reports, oh, and wasn't Barack Obama the one who invited rappers like Common, who had lyrics such as Black Strap to make the cops run, Jay-Z, who had referred to women as bitches and hoes, and Rick Ross, who wore a court-mandated ankle monitor to the White House and had pled no contest to charges of misdemeanor kidnapping and assault, to the White House. Yep. That was Barack Obama. In fact, not only did the former president have numerous parties with questionable celebrities, he brought Jay-Z and Beyonce into the Situation Room. Now, the Oval Office is one thing, but the Situation Room is not somewhere members of the Hollywood crowd should be roaming around. Americans were calling out Jarrett's utter hypocrisy. Twitter user Giacomo K walked away posted, I dunno. How many times did members of the Muslim Brotherhood visit, some not on official record? Didn't Jay-Z visit the WH many times, and his lyrics are much worse than Kanye's? Where were the left's keep it classy police during the Obama years? They were much more silent than they were on Thursday, that's for sure. What about the time Barack Obama gave an interview to a nutjob YouTube star, who is infamous for sitting in a tub of milk and cereal? Her name is Glozal, and neither the Democrats nor Jarrett was appalled at this. Radio host Jim Hansen tweeted. Imagine if it Barack Obama took his family to a church for years where the pastor said God DMN America. Yeah, we wonder if Barack sneaked the reverend right into the Oval Office? We may never know. This is incredibly disingenuous on Valerie Jarrett's part. If the Obama White House was known for anything, it was having an open door for anyone in the Hollywood crowd, at any time. Barack showered the Hollywood crowd with the Medal of Freedom Award. He gave out 123 in total, more than any other president. He honored Bruce Springsteen, Diana Ross, Tom Hanks, Bill, and Melinda Gates, and basketball greats Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Cicely Tyson, comedian Ellen DeGeneres, Robert Redford, Robert De Niro, and Saturday Night Live producer Lorne Michaels also received the medal, just to name a few. So, please, let's stop with this craziness about Kanye West. The GOP and President Trump aren't in with the cool kids in Hollywood. We all know that. But, our president doesn't need the Hollywood crowd. He certainly proved that in 2016. And, boy, didn't Hillary Clinton have every Alistair campaigning for her? Yes, she did, but patriotic Americans aren't impressed with celebrity endorsements. We never were, and certainly, we won't ever be. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.